right, Alicia is getting ready to blend in this uh, 66 Comet. You notice how he's got the gun aimed away from the rest of the uh, fender. That's to keep overspray to a minimum. We're only applying color over top the repair area. Get a little bit on the door here. Once we get it covered in, then we'll, then we'll worry about blending the color back. This color doesn't cover very well, so it's gonna take what some. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna put, he's got two coats over top of where there was a repair area. So he's got it the right color, almost. So we're gonna put another coat and we're gonna blend it out this time. Before where we were cautious not to wave the gun out and spray over spray out, this time we're gonna spray a little bit more and we'll tack it off. So, here we go. going to do the same thing over there and then he'll come back and do the rest of it. I just wanted to set it, show him what, what it is we wanted to do. So now he'll turn the camera over to me. Now he's blending the door out. He kind of kicks that gun out at the end. One thing that's helping us is this color is very transparent. So it blends out relatively easy. One, one thing about it that's tricky is the paint that's on this car is single stage metallic and we're putting face clear on it. There you go, nice job. Now what I want you to do is hold that gun up, pull just the air, see where it says 11? I want you to crank this in down there, take it down to about five. There you go, that's good right there. Now, you want to lightly fan that over, do the same thing you just did. Yep. Right, whip it out. Yep. And go down lower. Alright. Now bump that back up to 11 pounds and we'll do the other side. Now he's putting the last blend coat on the fender. There you go. Now he's dropping the air back down to about seven pounds, five to seven pounds, and he's gonna lightly go over it. Okay, sometimes what I'll do is, I'll come in from this way, and I'll come in as I'm pulling the trigger. Does that make sense? Okay, try it, try that. It's looking good. There you go. Just don't come back towards the door anymore. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. There you go. There you go. You got it. And I tell you what I would do. Now that you got that blended, bump that up to about 10 pounds again, 10 or 11. And I want you to put a coat. Put a coat on the top of this fender because remember we painted the same color on this hood. Does that make sense? So go ahead. A little faster. Are right, you stop right there? There you go. He's gonna put one more coat on the top of this fender. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here he goes, friends. First go to clear.
There you go. Got that whole gravity thing <laughs> working against you. you did another fine job uh, the blend turned out good you can't tell where one paint stops and the other one starts <laughs> problem we got is what we did is shinier than the uh, the other paint I'm gonna pull some of this plastic back so we can check the match on the on the fender I mean it shouldn't be any trouble because it's the exact same paint out of the exact same can and of course it's spot on like i said these was put this was painted before you normally wouldn't do that you would just cut this fender in and by cut in i mean paint the, the jams of it but the fender was off and we had a we had a try a time trying to find this this color and we and when we finally did actually the owner got it for us um we went ahead and painted it and it, the fender turned out so good and so did the hood if you remember the videos with the hood that uh we just left them painted. So we taped them up, there's no problem. And then we blend it into this door. And as you can see, that worked out just fine. Um, like I said, it's the exact same paint out of the same can. So, and the hood turned out good. I'm gonna leave it taped up because we've got a couple dirt nibs and things to buff out of it. And that way we don't get a, that way we don't get a, we don't sling compound all over the rest of the car. But, uh. Alicia did a great job. I'll bring you another short little video when uh, we get her back together. All right, I got this comment out of the booth. I'm gonna turn this camera around here a minute and show it to you. Uh, it's Friday, we've got a lot done this week um, in the shop here. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me turn it around. It turned out nice. Alicia did a great job with it. Okay. Looks good. We got painted the fender we the whole front end of this thing's been painted basically that's what we've done uh there's no paint on the back of that fender so that should match the only paint we had to put back here was there was a big chip right here and we had to put a little bit of color you'll you i think you can see it in the video alicio dusting a little paint up there but other than that there is no paint back here so that is it seems a little bit shinier because this has got clear coat on it and this is just single stage metallic so you could probably polish this up some i'm not worried about it right now but the whole front end's been painted and when uh i'm starting to piece it together actually what i'm trying to do is figure out how much stuff i need to put it back together 
Um, we blended into this door and we did the whole rocker panel. I think we're gonna end up, I think the owner, we're gonna put like a, uh, we're gonna put a stripe down the side of it, like a, a Ford used to put them on like the GT350 Mustangs and stuff down at the bottom. I uh, believe we're gonna do that. But right now I just wanted to show you where we're at. It's looking real good. Um, this is a fiberglass hood, so there is no latch mechanism in it. So it's gonna be put on with uh, hood pins. So I'll show you those. So we're gonna put it on with these hood pins and uh, that's gonna take a little bit of figuring so that uh, don't drill the hole in the wrong spot. But uh, I think I'll end this video up right off right here. Keep it nice and short.